as we approach the end of 2018, economists are offering their predictions for how they think 2019 will go for us. And the bottom line, they think that our Colorado will continue to grow, but at a slower pace than recent years. Denver 7's Megan Lopez is live for us in the newsroom. Megan, a lot of uh, this boils down to jobs. Yeah, that's right, Mitch and Nicole. And more importantly, people who are actually available to work them. So this is a report, and it looked at all kinds of factors, from the past to the present to some national trends, upcoming laws that are going to go into effect and more. And the group of CU Boulder economists thinks that they know how Colorado will grow in 2019. Growth continues. That's the bottom line from economists at CU Boulder as they try to predict our Colorado's future. Every year, we think that housing prices are going to go up. The Leeds Business School releases its economic outlook, forecasting things like job growth, housing stock, and more. So let's take a look into Colorado's crystal ball. First up, jobs. What we do see is uh, a continued strength in high tech, but also a very strong tourism sector and retail remains quite strong. Economist Rich Wabakin says unemployment will tick up a bit, but only because more people are expected to join the job market. For employers, though, things aren't as rosy. The biggest single factor is the fact that there is like really not any available workforce. So pretty much every sector is saying they're having difficulty finding workers. Which brings us to prediction number two. The forecast says the number of newcomers moving to our Colorado will slow down. Nationally, a lot of other areas are doing well, so Colorado is maybe just slightly less attractive to a, a migrant. A big reason for that has to do with how expensive our housing is. Wobekind says Colorado has been underbuilding for years and... Supply is certainly not keeping up with demand. But prediction number three is that more single-family homes will be built here. In particular, is a good sign for, for the Colorado economy. Though it will still be showing that in you know, a very tight housing market. Prediction number four from The Economists is about the marijuana industry. We may have seen uh, close to peak cannabis at this point. Meaning the industry is expected to slow. Our fifth and final look into the Colorado crystal ball is agriculture. The agricultural sector continues to struggle. Costs going up a little bit, so we're, we're forecasting another very low year for uh, net farm income and profitability. Bottom line, Colorado is expected to continue to grow. Just a little more gradually than before. So this group has been predicting Colorado's economy for decades. For 2018, they predicted only about 47,000 jobs would actually be added to the economy. But in reality, we are on track to add about 65,000 jobs to our economy this year alone. But that just goes to show you how fickle this business of predicting the future is. Because after all, it's better to be pleasantly surprised with more growth than disappointed in the state for not meeting these forecasts. I'm in the newsroom. Megan Lopez, number seven. Thanks, Megan. And we want to hear from you on this. How is Colorado's growth impacting your daily life? We want to hear the good, the bad, and the ugly. You can send an email to rco at thedenverchannel.com to share your views.